Jesse son stood before the prophet. The father knew a king would soon be found, but each one passed except the last. No one thought to call on him. Surely he would never wear a crown. But when others see a shepherd boy, yes, God may see a king. Even though in your life it may be filled with ordinary things, yes, in a moment he can touch you and everything will change. Yes, when others See a shepherd boy, God may see a king. One by one, troubles come, dreams get shattered. Sometimes life is so hard to understand. But things like chance and circumstance, they really don't matter. For our Father holds tomorrow in His hands. But it wasn't the oldest, and it wasn't the strongest. Chosen on that day, but giants fell and nations trembled when they stood in little David's way. But when others see a shepherd boy, God may see a king, even though in your life. It may be filled with ordinary things. In a moment, He can touch you and everything will change. When others see a shepherd boy, God may see a king. And that's the way it is in our ordinary lives. All at once, we're crying. Our sins finds us out. We're crying. We're struggling along with the rain. All at once, the king comes by Steps out. and touches you. And everything changes in your life. You're made over new. A new creature in Christ. It's good to feel the love of the Lord. Our hearts are saddened tonight. We lost a prince in Israel. That's what the Bible says. David spoke it, and I spoke it in the funeral. He said this day, he spoke to all the people. He loves King Saul. Even though Saul was against him, he still loved him. You see, if you've got the love of God in your heart, you love. You love. And he said, let it be known this day a prince, a great man has fallen in Israel. I've often thought, I knew it was going to be hard tonight. It's going to be hard going forward. But you know, Lena's called me right before church. And she said, Jerry, I won't be there tonight. I said, I didn't think you would be, sissy. And she said, but tell the church I love them and I'm coming back. She said, not because Jerry. She said, because I love the Antioch church. Yeah. And she said, your kindness through the funeral 
the food, the prayers, the hugs. She said, my grandchildren said yesterday, I feel at peace. I miss Pat, but I feel at peace. She said it couldn't have went no better than it did. We're going to be sad. Yes, Lord. But you see how we're here tonight, brother, and gathered up? We need to bind a little closer yeah. if we're going to grow. Yeah. We're going to have to start inviting a little more. Yes, sir. One can't do it. No. It takes us all. It takes us all. It's good to know that we're in the house of the Lord. It's good to know that we're among God's people. It's good to know to feel His love. It's good to know that the King still is on the throne. Our children still has mercy. Yeah. That's good to know. It's good to know that He hears our cries but when we're down and out, we're all broken hearted. It's good to know <coughs> that He's alive and alive forevermore. There's so many sick. Tawana's sick. Valerie's sick. Sister Juanita's sick. I can go on and on. And, and if you have anybody, we need to still remember the Brother Jerry's family. We want to remember his sons. His sons. They need our prayer. They're lost. They're lost. They're lost. Their soul is lost. And they're lost without their rock, which was their father. And he was ever one of the rock. I can't. I don't want to imagine it, but it's coming to all of us. It's coming sooner than we think. Last weekend, Brother Jerry stood here so strong, so bold like King David, like Saul, stood tall, sung, gone away with a friend. Yes, he, did. he sung it as strong as he did when I was a little boy hearing him. I hadn't heard him sing it that strong. And he was so happy of being able to sing it again. <laughs> and, and here he is today. But you know, that's the love of God. Amen. Brother, I, I know you've heard him say this. And we'll get on with our meeting. But he said many times here, Please pray that God gives me my strength back, that I can sing again, that I can preach again. The last four weeks, he was strong as ever, wasn't he? Yep. Strong as ever, strong as a lion. His voice rang. I love that. God gave him what he asked for, and then he took him on home to his rest. No greater feeling than know that he's our king. He's our leader. He's our guide. And when He comes to call us and takes us, we're going to go. We're, right. we're going to go. There's not a person in this house that's not going to leave this world without dying. You're going to die. So the question is, how are you going to leave? Yeah. How are you going to leave? Are you going to leave with heaven in your view? Jesus or are you going to leave saying, oh, I wish to have one more day? One more day. No, no, what the the rich man we read about is still in hell today. The book's been written a long time. He's still there. He knows why he's there. Time and chance happens to all men. Time and chance happens to all men. Does anybody have a prayer request? Sister Darlene wants hands laid on her when we go down to pray. I just remembered that. She's sick. She's got broken ribs. Remember Sue? Yes. Brother Henry's sisters had a brain aneurysm. She's in, still in UK. She's doing a little better. Mom and Glenn. Remember to see us right Yeah, we went to see Lita's aunt. She's really bad. We mean, yeah, remember Brother Jason. I know you can tell the other night his voice is weak. Anybody else? Yeah, remember Sister Patsy. And Vernon Sloan, they said wouldn't do there right Yeah, Vernon Sloan comes here and he's he was in UK, I see. Did he come home? He's still pretty sick. I need your prayer. I had COVID and he's uh, uh, set my uh, black lung and I've been having some real hard times. Bless you, Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pray the Lord picks you up. Bless Somebody you. was having chest pains. Didn't know I knew that, did you? <laughs> I, I hope the Lord just eases it. Yeah. Talk to him. 
all these meetings. Brother Rick, do you want to come and introduce, sir? That's okay. Get some of those other fellows. That's okay, brother. I'll be here. I'll be back again. Let's be trying to get them on the road. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Brother Delbert has a list. Hold on. I forgot. He's so good about everywhere he goes. He's a lot. You see, people see him and they say, Brother Delbert, put me on the prayer list. They know he goes everywhere. Irene Mullen, Terry Ison, Patsy Swisher, Kinsley Lester, Scotty Ison, Juanita Bailey, Jackie Conley, Jennifer Ison, Murray Shepherd, Baby Jacobs, Nathan Jacobs, Bobby Wells, Will McCall, Warren Johnson, Lisa Music, Carol Stunt, Eddie Mead, Lola Addington, Drexel Hall, Glenn Ison, Stanley Collins, Jeremiah Swisher, Bonita Compton, Levi Hale, Elwood and Carolyn Robbins, Randall Yonks, Terry Gibson, Jerry Kidd, <coughs> Jeremy Nile, Daryl Prophet, uh, Jamie Barnett, Rick Pack, Helen Collins, uh, BJ Jones, Jackie Willis, Jenny Miley. Frank and Geraldine Newsom, yeah. Deb Sloan, Johnny Patrick, Sue Park, Marty Sloan, Jeff Brown, Clovis Mann, Joby Wright, Michelle Hamilton, Lisa Turner. Remember my brother Mark, he got some kidney issues. Remember my wife. Yeah, she's got to go see a surgeon, Jeremiah's wife. Come on, Brother Drew. Remember my mom and my mother-in-law, Uncle Pearl Reynolds and Burble Acres. Come on, Brother. 